a great guitar for you. Doggone 28 millimeter lens times two in a micro four thirds camera. Well, you see what happens when I'm halfway across the room. Anyway, we're back with you uh, today to discuss a wonderful guitar. You know, I like cheap guitars. When I say wonderful, for the money, it's fantastic. I won't gloat. It's not the goat, but it is the goat. I like to say that with a Glaswegian accent. It sounds better. This is my goat. It's a groat. A million jokes, yeah, I know. But it, it's a groat guitar. And this groat guitar is under 200 bucks on Amazon. Made in China. They say it's made in China. It doesn't pretend to be something else. It doesn't, doesn't fake a name on the headstock. Um, it says uh, on the inside, made in the PRC, which is something you don't quite often see. It's my understanding this groat company is trying to make a go at selling legit guitars. It is a legit guitar. It's basically a 125. I mean, it looks kind of like it. No cutaway, single P90 pickup, uh, 1 and 11 sixteenths nut. I believe, I'm looking for my, uh, something to measure with. Uh, there we go. Let's see the, uh, let's see what the um, scale is. I think it's 24 and 3 quarters. No, it looks to be dead on 25 inches. So a 25 inch scale is what it appears to be. And uh, I love the thing. I think it sounds really good. Sub 200 bucks for a semi-hollow. It's very thin. ES125T is basically what you're looking at. A single P90. Um, really thin body. Got it plugged into a Vox AC15. Let's listen to it. First, let's see if it's in tune. Oh, this is terrible. Close enough. I won't take any more of your time. It's really a great sounding guitar for under 200 bucks. Notice with my hands away from it, there's really bad lighting in here and a lot of guitars will hum like crazy on the mains in this room. Very little hum. And uh, it's well grounded and shielded. I'm really surprised, really. really in tune. Just wanted you to know about this thing. Um, it has binding, no nubs, but out of the box. Haven't done a thing to it. The, um, the neck's great. String height's great. There are no, no sharp edges on any frets. I haven't found a dead spot in the neck, but amazing. These fret, the fret work is mind-blowing for Chinese cheap guitar. Um, there's some little bubbles here and there where the neck meets the body and the finish. But overall, it looks great. I can tell by looking. It's multi-ply binding. You're not looking at any solid wood here. It's all laminate. But it looks great. It's thin anyway. Laminate might apply to a big jazz box, but as thin as it is, it's all P90. There's really no major benefit of having jazz box. It looks like and it feels like it's floating on hollow body. I don't think there's a center block in this thing. 
I can't feel one. I can't see one with a flashlight. I haven't taken an endoscope in there yet. I'm scared of those things. I keep thinking they might try to sneak up somewhere they shouldn't be if they're just sitting by themselves. Anyway, I haven't looked inside, but it looks like it's completely hollow, like a, like a Riviera. Um, there's no center block, I don't think. So she's resting on, on vibrating wood, even though it's laminated wood. Uh, so as far as acoustic jazz sounds, don't expect anything out of something this thin. But for regular um, jazz, I'm just playing jazz on it because it's suited for that, perhaps. But for anything, it's a great 50s rock and roll guitar. <laughs> It's, it's got all the sound and the feel. Uh, I love it. I'd gig with it. I don't know how well the electronics would hold up if I was out gigging with it week after week after week, but the rest of the guitar seems like it'd be fine. And if it got bashed or stolen, under 200 bucks. Let's look at the, uh, the headstock real quick. It says grunt, grunt on it. It's got some inlay, Gibson-esque Epiphone-ish inlay. It's got some cheap tuners, but outside of the fact that it's not quite in tune right this minute, they hold tune pretty well. Um, what I was doing earlier prior to making the video was I was playing Sleepwalk and I was vibrating it past the, the nut. I was going and that threw it all out of whack and I should have checked the tuning before I hit record. But uh, if, you, if you want one of these, if you like the, the, the old 125, the, the real thin single pickup Gibson-y thing, um, these gropes are cheap. And they really play well. If you get one like mine, I don't know, you may get one that's crap. It may be grunt crap. But uh, <laughs> if you get one that's grunt manure, I'm sorry, this one came out of the box. Great. Much more expensive guitars. I could go on about a few, like maybe maybe some G&Ls I've had that they came out of the box with Fred ends that cut your hand off. And this guitar for under $200 doesn't have that. Uh, it's not an advertisement for the guitar. I will tell you that in the link below, you can find your link to go find this guitar and take a look at it um, from, from Amazon without having to buy. I've seen some other sellers sell, like DHK claims it's a groat. Who knows if it really is or what it is coming from somewhere like that. But uh, from Amazon, comes to you from the PRC. It, 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 looks, it looks good. I don't think coronavirus can live on anything long enough. COVID-19 cannot live on the surface long enough to survive the trip from the People's Republic of China to the United States. So I wouldn't be scared of getting my hands on one um, shipped from China or drop shipped from wherever Amazon's getting them because uh, the virus would be dead by the time it got here if it was on it. But it, it, is, uh, it, it is really a fantastic guitar. Sorry it's not in tune. May come back to this one a little later. May even take the end scope down and see what it looks like inside. But as cheap guitars go, you can't beat a good. You have a great day, folks. I love you. God loves you. Remember what holds us together. Six greasy strings.